Hello my scrappy friends and a big welcome to my channel again today. Uh, so this share for today is my first share for June for Cut To You. What I've got here is um, the Spring flor spring Edge Floral Cut File. Floral, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's got those words in the title. <laughs> my apologies. Uh, and I have duplicated it in Silhouette Studio and rotated and flipped the smaller one and then created this long vertical uh, floral leaf strip and I have then gone ahead and cut that on my cutting mat um, on my cameo and you can see that I had I very carefully peeled it off my mat and I have also added some white cardstock behind my pattern paper that I'm using for my background which is the same pattern paper that I've done the cut from and you can see what I'm doing here I'm piecing this back together so like I said I've added uh, tiny little pieces of adhesive foam behind this cut file I'm doing it a little section at a time because I I know what's going to happen if I try to do it all at once and it's going to get stuck to itself and I'm going to get upset. Once I've got all that stuck down, you can see I've still got all my bits left on my cutting mat. I'm going to go back through and very carefully piece this back together. I'm using my scotch tacky glue. Sorry, my head is in the way. Uh, and my, I'm actually using my tweezers. And I'm just placing these pieces back into the part where they came out from. I'm adding my adhesive directly to the white cardstock because that was much easier than trying to add it to the piece of pattern paper. <laughs> and I'm just, use, like I said, using my tweezers and piecing this back, to, back together. It did take some time, but I love the way this came together in the end. Now, uh, before I go any further, I did see someone else do something similar a couple of months ago, and I was so inspired uh, but I forgot to like to take note of who did it, where I saw it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was on Instagram. Uh, if you happen to be the person that did something like this not all that long ago, uh, and you're like, hey, I did that, please let me know. I do want to give credit, um, and I'm, I'm, I feel so awful that I didn't even think to write it down at the time, but this is not my idea but i do love the idea so thank you to mysterious scrapbooker person that did this a little while ago uh, for your inspiration uh, if you know you know who did do it please also let me know because i would love to give them credit so uh what i'm scrapbooking here is uh it's actually the last photo that i took of myself and my bunny rabbit uh he passed away on the 1st of april last year uh and i it's taken me this long to be able to scrap this photo the photo funnily enough was actually taken like in november the year before but i i guess you don't even know that it's the last one right you know the last time you carry your baby to bed the last time you know, your child wants you, you know, wants to climb on your lap because they hurt themselves. You don't know that it's the last one until, until after it happens, right? So I didn't, I didn't know at the time, but I do love this photo of him and I, um, snuggly little dude that he is. Uh, so yeah, I thought it was time for me to, I, well, no, not, I thought it was time. I really wanted to scrap this photo and I just, I felt like the time was right now. I am using the Coco Vanilla Studio Sun Kissed Collection once again and as you can see I've used that really fun, busy, colourful pattern paper in my background. I love it. Uh, I'll tell you what the name of it is in a second. I've pulled out some patterns from the A5 paper stack that I wanted to use for my layers. Um, I wanted to bring in that yellow because I do love yellow. And then the rainbow, uh, the rain, I lo number one, I love rainbows, obviously. Number two, I just felt like uh, it was a nice, um, 
I'm not sure what the right word is, but recognising that he is no longer with us. You know, when they talk about our loved ones going, our, our animals going to the Rainbow Bridge. So that's kind of why I wanted to include the rainbow pattern. I can't find my little piece of paper with all of the details on it. So I'm just going to have to wing it, I think. Uh, so I did want to add also some distressing to my pattern paper edges because it kind of was all just blending together because that background paper is so busy uh, and so colorful. Uh, I decided to go around all the edges of all of my pieces with some grey ink and that is Distress Oxide Hickory Smoke. You can see I showed you earlier that I had included a glassine bag behind my photo and the very first thing I did was cut a tag to go into the glassine bag uh, to add my journaling. I didn't really want to journal on the front of this page, not because it's secret journaling, uh, it is it is a bit heartfelt but it's not secret and uh, I'm trying to hide it I just didn't know where to add it uh, so I'm just working with that I'm gonna I wanted to bring a little bit more black in so you can see I have added a layer of black cardstock behind my photo and done some black stitching and then punched a black uh, reinforcer for my tag I really like the way that's looking. I'm just doing a quick look through the embellishments, the uh, die cut ephemera here, to find what I want to use. I wasn't really sure how I was going to embellish this page. Uh, I did know that I didn't want to go crazy because I did not want that cut file to get completely lost in the background. Uh, the intent was for it to be a background feature, for it not to be the main, like, wow, there's a cut file on this page element but I didn't want to completely lose it in the design so I do um, I pulled out all these different pieces I'm definitely using those clouds I just think they're perfect and that rainbow on the right hand side again you know rainbow bridge and then I decided I was going to add some more florals because who doesn't love more florals right uh, and with the florals on the right hand side I, the left hand side in that cut file I just thought it was a good uh, not a match but a good pairing so I'm just adding these florals down the bottom here I'm trying to see if I can get these hearts in and I don't think I get any in, in the end for the florals I am trying to get the colors pretty much all of the colors so it all looks kind of balanced and evenly spread around and I'm trying not to have like a pink flower predominantly on top of a pink part of the background, which I realize is a bit tricky uh, and is also one of the reasons why I chose to use the floral die cuts rather than fussy cutting florals from the pen paper because they do have that white border on them. And I'm going to obviously the white border separates it from the background, but also I can then ink it up as well. Adding in a couple of leaves here. I love this deeper uh, green. I like the pop that it adds. And then I'm going to add some more florals up to the top here. And I'm just going to layer them. Some of these florals, I don't know if you've noticed, have got uh, marks on them because I've tried to use them on other pages. And they didn't make it, but something got stuck to them. So I'm just tucking that down underneath. That orange one down the bottom actually had part of it cut off. So just adding things as I go. I wanted to have up the top there that cluster all kind of touch each other and come together. I got to this point and I was like, oh, I think I'm pretty happy with that, but there's something kind of missing. So I pulled out the clear stickers and I'm going to add the two rainbow arrow chevron uh, stickers to the corners of my photo. I am going to change out that captured tab up there as well for a yellow one and it says so happy. And that has been tucked between my photo and my black mat behind my photo. And you can see here... Um, I've gone in and added a couple more florals to the left hand side and I feel like that just kind of ties it all in together. Um, my cut file on the left hand side doesn't get lost. Uh, it's like a floral explosion. I love it and I'm just showing you there that I added in those three 
clear stickers uh, to kind of draw your eye around the page. And I'm going to come in with some of these cute little puffy hearts, which I love also. Uh, I may have a couple of packets of these puffy stickers. They're kind of awesome. I love them. So I'm just sticking those in places. You'll see as I do this, I will kind of point them out. Uh, it's for my own benefit. Just like drawing the line to see if I've got like a straight across line or a straight up and down line. I don't want that. I want more of a zigzag across that diagonal. So that, that was me doing that just there. Um, I have added my journaling to my tag as well. And then I wanted to add some sequins. So of course I've pulled out some of my Spiegel Mum scraps sequins. This is Black Magic. I sprinkled them all around and then decided that I wanted to add the black ones to the centers of my flowers, which is not something I would ordinarily do. And then sprinkle some gold ones. Uh, my journaling says, Olaf Bunny, I can't believe it has been over a year since you left us for the Rainbow Bridge. I miss you and think of you every day, especially the days I go out the back. This photo of you and I was the last one I took in November 2019 and I'm so happy I have it. The backyard just isn't the same without you. Love, Mum. Um, yeah, he he was definitely my bunny. He, he would come when I called him, which I think is just super cute. Uh, and the boys, my kids really tried. They loved him. They really, really loved him. Uh, but he wouldn't go when they called him no when they called him i think that's what, that's what i mean uh my final touch is some gold splatters and i can i do go fairly liberally with these because it is quite a subtle detail uh and i you can see i've covered up my photo but i do add splatters all across the top of all of my layers there and i really like that extra touch that it gives and it again it kind of brings the whole lot together so it's not this cut file on the left hand side and then my stuff on the right hand side and yeah I really really love how this page came together it was super fun to create um you probably realize you probably know that I don't use a ton of flowers in my scrapbooking uh, that's not to say that I don't that I have an issue using flowers uh, on my pages of my boys but I don't use them all the time and I did have a lot of fun creating this one. I have added the grey ink to all of those as well. I've added some crochet twine to crochet thread to my tag and that is my completed layout. I really love how this one came together. I'm really really happy with it. Um, yeah I hope that you have enjoyed my share today make sure you head over to the shop to check out uh, the new releases and maybe you can find another cut file that will work beautifully like this I hope you've enjoyed today thank you so much for stopping by I will see you again in another process video and in the meantime have a fantastic scrappy day